Hey guys, welcome to my humble abode. I went to Southeast Asia with Kontiki for the annual road trip 2015. Obviously it's a super hot place that I went to. We went to Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam in the space of like a week. So there was a lot of traveling. There was a lot of walking in the heat and, and the sun. And because they were filming the whole thing, I had to maintain a certain standard of like makeup. So I needed to pack quite lightly, but also smart. And I wanted to show you guys what products I took on the trip so you could see how I achieved like my everyday makeup look and then also some nighttime makeup looks. Yeah, showing you my skincare and what makeup, oh, fail well, <laughs> what makeup I took. And hope you enjoy. Let's begin. -na 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 -na. Ch -ch. Woo. <laughs> I'm just gonna start out with like skincare stuff. So to take off my makeup, I took the Ulla Henriksen makeup remover cloths. Uh, the one I took was already half empty, it wasn't this exact one, and I ran out like the day before I came home, so it was perfect. But, yeah, these are really good because there's like this plastic lid that stops them from like coming out and drying off, because you know how these stupid bits like come off and then they all dry up and you're just like scrubbing at your face with a piece of like sandpaper. So these just remove the makeup, and then, so I took like, um two different bags one was like my day bag so the stuff i'd put in my little backpack for the daytime and then the other was my makeup bag that i would just leave in the hotel room and this is it don't know where it's from it's just this gold pouch um and then inside the cleanser that i used was the dr spiller one and the only annoying thing about this is that it's huge it's not travel size uh but i don't like mixing on my skincare and so this is all i took out of my skincare actually I'm going to line all the goods up here. And then what other skincare? I actually bought these though. Next Care Acne Patches. Works like a sponge to absorb oil. So I don't even know what these are, but I have a feeling these are like little stickers that you put over your pimples. My skin cleared up so well in the heat over there because I feel like when you sweat a lot or like produce lots of oil because of the heat, like it cleanses your pores. What are these weird things? Okay, cool. So these like... You put them over your pimples and they absorb the oil and prevent like bacteria getting in and stuff. So that's cool. Coming to try it. I did get pimples like uh, when I arrived back, but that could be because I have like made my hormones go raw. Neato. I can't wait to try them. And then I've got, okay, obviously I've also got my toothbrush and my toothpaste. Obviously I was in the ad for the Colgate Optic White Express White. So this is the one that gives you whiter teeth in three days just from brushing the fastest whitening toothpaste that they've ever come out with and I've actually used the Optic White range for ages and I didn't realize that me and my housemate both used to use the original one and now obviously I switched to this one because I was in the ad for it who saw it on the telly I was like everyone needs a beauty bestie no that's what Lauren said and I was like especially a smile and we're like getting ready to go out together um, in the ad and it was really fun. I've been using it um, ever since I did the ad and I stole one off set and took it home <laughs> um, And this is that one, but I like it because it's only 85 grams Which is a perfect like travel friendly size. They have like bigger sizes too But um, it contains the product that dentists use to whiten your teeth I've never had like anything on my teeth except braces and I've always felt like my teeth were a little bit like they weren't like yellow or anything but they were kind of dull and now I just feel like my smile is a bit more like bright I guess I did take before and after photos let me see if I can find it but um yeah it's really good stuff then what else is in here so the rest of like my makeup for everyday wear and then for when we went out and stuff I took my foundation was the Stila Stay All Day foundation and concealer and it's got a concealer in the lid and a little mirror and this is the one that just prevents me from oiling up the most and I really like it it's pretty full coverage but I feel like it looks really natural and also it's a color that sort of suits me when I'm pale and when I'm a bit tan because it's yellowy and oops should have said this first but the primer I took was the Veil mineral primer and this is the one that like cancels out redness it absorbs oil prevents me from oiling out throughout the day it's like my holy Gra grail primer and this is the travel size that I got in my swap and then for some reason I packed like two bronzers I brought my Tarte the Sculptor contouring face slenderizer it's just like a chubby stick I learned on the trip that you should apply one side first then blend it out and then do the other side because it kind of sets and then I took my Benefit Hula bronzer because I was kind of hoping it would run out while I was over there. 
What else do I have in here? Okay, so on an everyday basis, I wore my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I took this instead of another pencil because I feel like this is the best waterproof one. It stays absolutely all day. And I didn't even consider this, but because I didn't take any fancy makeup, like I didn't take an eyeliner or anything, this can be used as an eyeliner uh, or an eyeshadow base. So it's kind of multi-purpose and good like that. I took my Benefit Roller Lash, but I lost it somehow. Do like the Benefit Roller Lash, how it makes my lashes look, but it transferred to the top of my lid, and so kind of not sorry that it got lost. I bought the Maybelline Lash and Mister Endless Lash Obsession from like the 7-Eleven there, and this one's got fibers in it, so it makes your eyelashes just look really spindly and long, and it did the job. Probably won't use it much more now. Blush, I took this really nice Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in Nude Mauve. And then in case I wanted to, I took my Naked Basics palette, ended up using it a ton to do like basic looks. There's one more thing, I should have mentioned this before again, but it's the Suntivity SPF 30 Plus High Protection. Um, and this is the Ultra Light Fluid for Face. It's the best thing I've ever used for like under your makeup because there's no oily look whatsoever. Like as soon as you put it on, it's like matte. Um, and it's by Cetaphil. It's good stuff. That's everything for my makeup. The brushes that I took were these Zoeva brushes. I brought the bamboo set, the entire bamboo set, and then I also brought a couple from the rose gold set. I wish I'd packed some smaller eyeshadow brushes because I did end up doing like more intense eye looks. What have I done? And this was a really cool travel thing because I'd open it like that and then I'd put my toothbrush in it and it would just sit there and then for traveling they're all protected. And then in this little pouch, this is a really cool makeup store. Um, it's like cork and gold glitter. And this is what I took every day with me out. This has got like um, some hair pins and hair ties in it. And then I've got my makeup store blotting paper and I like this one because you open it like, um, you guys say aluminum foil, don't you in America? I find that so funny. Aluminium. Really good to keep in your handbag. And then this stuff by Paula's Choice, it's so weird. It's a cream, but it's a shine stopper, like a blotting cream. So it's it's the weirdest stuff, but it works really well. Like I was handing this stuff out to everyone. You kind of just pat it in so you don't move around your makeup, but I put it right on top of my makeup and it's like immediately matte on your, sorry, I hold it up like you can see. But it's super awesome. Then I've got Creme Simone Universal Cream. But I use it like as a hand cream or just like general body moisturizer. It's a really nice cold product. You can get it from Sephora. And then the only lip liner I took was my beloved Rimmel Natural Lip Liner in 49. So nice. And then I took a Jane Aradale Active Light Under Eye Concealer just to pack in my handbag in case I needed to touch up. And then I took this really cool stuff. It's called Aroma Flage. Botanical fragrance and insect repellent. So it's kind of like a natural smelling perfume, but it also repels insects like mosquitoes. It's really cool stuff. Like, who thinks of that? And then I took my Chapstick Moisturizer Mix Sticks Lemon Berry Sorbet flavor. So it's got like two different ends on it. I think I also took an SPF one, but it's not in here. And that's it. Did I get everything? I did. Hey, I'm pretty proud of myself. I feel like I packed kind of light, right? Not bad, not bad at all. What do you diddly do? I really wanted to show what deodorant and I took because this thing is a lifesaver. If you live in a warm climate or just anywhere, it's the Rexona Clinical Protection Antiperspirant Deodorant. And it's like you, um, you wind it up and then this cream stuff comes out and then you just put it under your armpits. You can put it on before bed so that it like activates while you sleep. And then during the day, you just won't sweat under there. It's really amazing. Everyone was like, oh my god, you're wearing a grey top? That's so brave. And I was like, what of it? I was like, yeah, just don't sweat, yo. I'm just like a mythical creature. Alright guys, I hope you liked my video. And let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you in my next videos. Have a good one.